ఓం శ్రీ గణేశాయ నమ ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ నమస్తే టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఫ్యామిలీ వెరీ రీసెంట్లీ ఆన్ ది అకేషన్ ఆఫ్ జూపిటర్ ట్రాన్సిట్ దట్స్ కమింగ్ అప్ ఐ హ్యాడ్ పుట్ అప్ టూ పోస్ట్స్ వన్ ఈస్ ఆఫ్ ద లక్షార్చన పూజ ఫార్ జూపిటర్ అండ్ ది అదర్ వన్ ఈస్ ద జూపిటర్ ఆయిల్ సో ఐ రిసీవ్ ఎ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ ఎన్క్వైరీస్ ఫార్ ద జూపిటర్ ఆయిల్ బికాస్ దిస్ వాజ్ సంథింగ్ వెరీ న్యూ ఫర్ మై సబ్స్క్రైబర్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ నెవర్ స్పోకెన్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ద పబ్లిక్ ఫోరమ్ బిఫోర్ so what is this jupiter oil everybody wanted to know i thought individually instead of sitting and responding to the whatsapp chats i might as well make a video and educate all of you on this so that you all know what this is all about and you can definitely go ahead and get one for yourself so basically each of the planets have a particular floral oil an essential oil which is connected to them it's like how we say for ganapati he likes hibiscus flower uh you know we offer uh, the mallika jasmine flowers for all the gods because it's considered very auspicious so each um, planet also has certain preferences so which is why i have mentioned about jupiter oil in the context of the jupiter transit see because it's very very uh, apt to buy something like that and get something for yourself at the time of a transit right so it just made sense so which is why i made an attempt to first announce about that so basically what happens is like our ancient rishis have made us connect to the roots connect to nature connect to everything connected to uh, the navagrahas are also connected to nature you see if you look at danas also you know if you want to appease chandra for example you will offer rice grains as dan or milk as dan because these are associated with the planet likewise even the oils are certain oils are associated with each of the planets and when we infuse those oils with the energy of the planet through the mantras that is the process of energization then what happens you literally trying to uh, consecrate the entire see when you normally book japas and all we do that for the water and when you consume the water as teertha automatically the energy goes into your body and it's assimilated likewise for you to be able to uh, you know every single day connect to that particular planet we have uh, introduced you what you call as the uh, oils for the navagrahas so each oil is connected to one particular graha so we have nine different categories so every oil is that uh, is the oil connected to that particular graha what you can do is every morning once you wake up you have your shower and you're ready to go so you can probably dab it a little bit on your pulse points or here okay um, you can do that and then you can leave so the whole day you are attracting the energy of that planet for full cooperation like for monday you have chandra so you have moon's essential oil which will which is energized in your name and star and also for family so like you can't keep bu- buying one bottle for each of you then definitely one for the family will work wonders so you know you buy the oil and then you uh, it's energized with the mantra so you infuse it here and go whole day you have the benefit of chandra working for you because he sees that you're connected to him in some way likewise like your for tuesday we have something for mars so all the seven days of the week we have something now rahu and ketu uh, you know you can apply it on all the days because rahu and ketu never have any particular day of the week so when they did tapasya and they asked brahma why is it that we are not allotted one day like the other planets why are we shadowy planets so then uh, you know they kind of demanded from brahma because of the power of their tapasya so brahma said okay fine because you don't have one day particularly dedicated for you every day during rahu kal and yamaganda kal people will worship you people will make note of you they will remember you so that is how this rahu kal came into existence and yamaganda kal came into existence and people have been following this practice of not doing auspicious things during rahu kal and things like that so even rahu and ketu have these oils and that you can apply any day any time so it's not like you have to sit and uh, watch out for you know rahu kal or oh, rahu kal now so I, i apply it's not like that every single day you can it is really beneficial so this oil is something that i felt you know like see japas we do it the uh, the energy sustains for a few years no doubt about it also depends on your sadhana and your involvement how aware you are and things like that havans are also extremely beneficial but there is also an alternative that is something that i wanted to tell you through this uh, video that you do have an alternative for every planet uh, uh, as a remedy we do abhishekas we do japas we do danas we do homas then we have yantras 
for each of the planets so now we have the oils also so i mean uh, so far we i have prescribed in only in personal consultations for uh, you know a clients of mine when they are you know very very focused about how to get the most of a particular uh, planet like i do have clients who are so committed to getting the japas done like four times uh, in their lifetime so if for example shani i would say you should do 19000 times so 19000 into 4 they do it uh, you know so that you don't really have to see their chart ever again because shani is fully appeased this is again is a jyotish shastra principle that you know any planet you do into 4 Uh, their prescribed sankhyas into four that is highly beneficial you don't have to look at the person's chart again so when they do that along with that i also tell them to do this uh, oil so you know what happens then uh, they are complete in every single way why is annadan so shreshth because so many annadan means cooking and it involves many many grains and everything so when you feed people one thing is you're feeding the hungry it's a good deed and definitely uh, shani bhagwan is very happy with that but apart from that it also helps you in a way that Uh, so you know multiple grains are there so multiple planets come into uh, consideration and definitely even the taste planets have taste like uh, anything like pepper anything pungent uh, is all connected to surya anything bitter is shani anything milky is chandra so basically um, you know all the navarasas why do we say that navarasa in this context because uh, all planets are connected uh, and when you cook a dish and you serve them it just becomes so complete so every single way our rishis have prescribed to us that there is a way to correct your planetary uh, negative impact of the planetary positions there is a way to correct your karma see because what you do you cannot undo see today you cannot go and uh, you know commit a crime and say oh today i committed a crime so tomorrow i will reverse it through a, a punya karya that is not something what i am recommending what i am saying is we have done many things in our past life we don't know we are all karma jeevis we are all suffering in different grades we are also enjoying in different grades but we can make our lives better through these kind of uh, you know planetary connections connections what i mean to say is be connected to the planet uh, in some way or the other draw a line a dhara a sutra which can help you remain connected pujas uh, abhishekas japas homas yantras and oils all are beneficial and of course dana periodically doing this dana is also very very beneficial otherwise you know you only do when you have a sade sati or an ashtama shani it's very shameful that you know you're not human and uh, you're not uh, suppose you're supposed to nurture all other parts of creation you are the one who has the sixth sense you are the one who's supposed to be having the power of speech you can talk you can communicate your wiser your intuitive we are not using any of those things for the betterment of humanity or creation so we are all assigned this task or this janma for a better purpose and we are not like, but animals prove to be better than us today you know i feel in many ways many ways but uh, that is another topic this topic and video is about jupiter oil and i'll stick to that so like jupiter oil we have many other oils so jupiter transit lasts for one year and you know this oil if you buy for example get it energized in your name and start using it it last you for more than a year so then it is highly beneficial right you can either apply every day or you can apply it on thursdays and the best part is we say that jupiter is so important for every aspect of life it is for your intelligence it is for your uh, learning and wisdom it is for you to have children it is for you to uh you know we say to be noble and humble and not do bad karmas in this life anymore we say what a dusht that person is he's so cunning he's so jealous because the guru will not be good in their chart because guru will not influence them in a positive way guru's influence is extremely important guru here i'm referring not to any personality i'm only referring to planet jupiter so uh, that way guru is very very important to be for you to be an ideal person in the society so that your present life later part of that present life and your future life if you have any janmas that also has to be good so guru is very important for that guru is important for your spiritual pursuits and your chakra is act- to get activated guru is responsible for your intuition in many ways and um, and guru is very important for your liver for your kidney for the fat percentage in your body for your good health to some extent although surya takes most prominence in that but definitely guru is also very it's a, he's a very purna shubha graha we say 100% uh, benign good auspicious planet now for you to make good use of that planet is something you should look at and you should work towards see somebody who is already good is very easy to convince them 
somebody who's bad to convert them to good is the problem so here guru is on the good side so jupiter oil in focus i'm telling you to uh, you know consider getting for yourself uh, you know during this transit time is that get this so that you know you, your entire one year goes smooth for you to get a good padavi we say padavi means position uh, job position a promotion a good title uh, awards recognition everything is guru see all this is guru so which is why it's so important that uh, you know you are in his good books so you know often i feel sad that you know every now and then there are some planetary transits and i keep messaging clients they have to spend money um they you know they wonder what is this always some transit or the other and most of it is not favorable but today i'm happy to say that many many rashis uh, turned out to be good uh, for many of my clients i'm saying in from the database so i haven't even reached out to them only a couple of them i told that you know last few years have been really bad such people have messaged and told them that you know this transit is good for you you can expect some really good good things from happening good auspicious events happening at home and people buying gold buying properties all of this in fact we say uh, you know what one, one aspect of the guru in the in the chart can actually negate a one crore doshas it's a it's a parlance actually but what it indicates is that uh, you know guru has the power to negate many doshas see many many couples who don't have uh, you know uh, santana yoga in their chart we give them a strain of hope even if a guru's drishti is there so we say ah no there is guru drishti so there is a chance so like that so i'm saying just imagine one guru's just look or aspect can have so much impact positive impact then you know being connected to guru through the oil through the japas through the lakshacharna through the homas through the yantras can be even far more beneficial see when temples give you pendants to wear like dollars to wear after the puja is done why do they give you that because you are connected to the the planet jupiter you know you are always remaining connected so in every possible way the rishis the astrologers the the learned saints have always given us way to remain connected what we normally do is we don't make an effort to connect to them till we have a problem and the moment we have a problem uh, you know we'll do anything to get rid of the problem but of course there are a few people who will keep asking questions they don't do anything they'll remain where they are so that is one thing i want to tell you and people i've also noticed and in fact to your notice i want to bring it that when you don't do these transit pujas what really happens is after the transit takes place and the negative impact of the transit starts showing itself on you as a result that is when you you will not be able to manage with this remedy you'll have to go for a higher remedy because right now it's a samuhik puja so temples also do it in a very cost effective way but the moment this opportunity is over what really happens is that you know people will start facing severe problems that time you'll have to upgrade your solution also you'll have to go for a higher range of solutions so that means more money to be spent so that is why i always tell everyone you know a stitch in time saves nine so you have to uh, take appropriate action you have to uh, make sure that you don't approach uh you know you have to be preventive than cu- curative you should not approach me when you are already you know neck deep in a problem you should even before you get into a problem you should be able to sense it that is the beauty of a human birth you know you are given that sixth sense you are given that sense to feel to sense to be to think you know not just be instinctive so you know that is what i wanted to tell you in this video so uh, think about it uh, this although this is about jupiter oil i want to also tell you that you know this transit time this jupiter oil is very very important but apart from that we have many other oils all the nine planets have their own oil you don't have to wait for their transits to uh, use them you can you can use them any time start investing in it at least if you don't have a budget do it every month try to get one oil in 9 months you will have all the nine oils and then you can start using whatever you have and by then you will know the impact also no with each oil coming into your life what exactly is the impact it's having so by 9 months you will have uh, all the nine planets and then that is going to be very very beneficial uh, for you i mean for the for at least 2 3 years if it lasts if you're dabbing a little bit every day i'm sure that that will take care of your present right so you can work efficiently you can uh, focus on your goals you can do your work everything will be smooth so uh, this is why i thought you know this is the right time to introduce the oil at the same time 
you can uh, you can start planning for each of these and uh, you know invest in all of this and keep it with you for a secure future secure your future that is what i want to tell you and uh, definitely jupiter oil or any other uh, planetary oil like you know we have for sun we have for moon all the nine planets we have that is going to secure your future uh, you know by minimizing the negative impact of the planets and they will guide you in the right direction so that you don't commit karmic mistakes which will give you horrible rebirths have you ever thought uh, i think you should start thinking also when you go outside a temple somebody is begging for money they don't have food to eat uh, there are rag pickers on the road picking rags uh, have you ever wondered what they would have done to have that job and what have i done to get this job what i'm doing now i always think if i'm an astrologer why am i an astrologer what did i do to get here uh, and you should also think if you're a software engineer why are you a software engineer if you are a housewife who's uh, like you know hopelessly depending on their husband for uh, a monthly income and things like that you should wonder why are you so dependent what wrong did i do to or what good did i do that i have such a good husband to take care of me and things like that so and if if you know a rag picker is doing that what did he do to get there to get to that stage where they are you know struggling to survive so when you think of all these horrifying things and uh, the actual facts of life you'll realize how blessed you are and how beautiful you can make your life to be yours as well as others always you should hit yourself with reality rather than comparing yourself with somebody and say oh i mean you know why he's uh, he's driving a benz he doesn't deserve it actually i am better i mean it doesn't make sense whatever karmas he's done he's enjoying now but what he does now will also define his future so instead of focusing on others on on or on your problems try to rectify your attitude towards life and uh, think everything from karmic perspective that will keep you grounded it will help you get the right kind of solutions from time to time like how uh, you know i've been introducing variety of solutions for variety of problems in my upcoming videos i will also be talking about how to help help yourself with um, you know certain remedies which can help you get visas uh, get green cards which, which can help you get uh, clear the immigration smoothly uh, have a uh, you know smooth international flight uh without any anxiety and things like that so you know stay tuned to my channel and do like share and subscribe thank you